All right, let's go ahead and finish up some of our side quests. Go ahead and leave the rumor requirement. Uh, one of them, there should be a Daedalus key around here somewhere. Now here's something that kind of sounds like it might be it. Revelio. That and there's also still stuff to explore up here. For example, I heard... Revelio page, but it might be higher up still. I've always said that... This is a whole classroom we haven't been in yet. Uh, why do I feel like this is a note we've already read? My dear Satyavati. Yeah, this is a duplicate note. Or is it? Well, we'll read it just in case. My dear Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge, who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect and their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as a means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Secreta. Right, maybe we haven't read that because it didn't seem as familiar. I might have just heard the name referred to at some point. That was definitely some kind Rebellion. of noise. Oh, hello. I didn't see you sitting there. I haven't been to your class yet. Oh, this is one of those things that are locked. So there is a key around here somewhere. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hello, Ignatia. There's the key. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Well, the good news is I already know where it's going to lead me. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Uh. Okay, so we can slap it. I guess we have to wait till it's kind of over the thing to slap it. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, it kind of takes off in the direction it's facing. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. A house token. Yeah, it looks like it kind of won't actually fly over it until. I slap it in whatever direction it What's goes. Now? I don't know. I kind of guessed. But that's that side quest. Rebellion. We have to return to Nelly. We also have to return to Arthur for the treasure we found. I'm actually not here on that Rebellion page anymore, so it must not have been above us. I think I heard it way off in the distance over here. Revelio. Now I don't hear it at all. Now it kind of sounds like it's beyond that wall. Unless was it from this painting? No, it's definitely to my left. So maybe there's a way up and over. Somehow doubt it. 
Rebellion. Okay, I hear one again. Sounds like it's up there. But then up here, I couldn't hear one, I don't think. No. I hate these Rebellio pages. That's fine, there's some other puzzles and such. I'll definitely hear one now. Such a troublemaker. All right, let's go ahead and Lumos this up. Lumos. That looks like we might have to go higher up. A uh, tower of some sorts. Well. Close, but no cigar. We'll keep our Lumos out just to make it a little easier. Ah, uh, here we go. I was correct. We did have to continue upwards. Take this little guy home. And then start hunting for that Revelio page. Rebellion. Whether it be one for this? No, sounds like it's. Well, how do we get to that? Okay, it sounds like it's probably near here. Ah, oh, there's a staircase down. There it is. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars, and anything else one might find in the night sky. Like a UFO? And this is how we get to these. 50 galleons. And let's go ahead and switch to our incendio. I wonder if the other one will work on it. It will. So pretty much any kind of fire. Rebellion. Nope, oh, not here in any Rebellion pages. We're almost level 22, so we'll have all of the talents available. At least all the tier level tiers unlocked. Okay, it's way down there. I was about to say, I thought I saw something that I could loot. Wonder. Rebellio. Well, if there is some kind of secret to open this, no idea what that is yet. I thought about transferring the boat back. So that's the astronomy tower. Probably have a class there at some point. Amit did tell me that all fifth years required to take it. Oh yeah, here one way off in the distance. Rebellion. And I don't hear it there, so it's got to be like just somewhere I can barely catch it. Now this one sounds pretty close. Maybe on the other side of that wall. Oh yeah, I think that's one that we were like, we can't get to it yet. So unless Arthur Rebellion. is not going to return to that spot, we should be coming up on him. Yeah, my guess is Arthur's not coming back here. 
Oh, and yeah, I think there's one up there. But that will require lock picking. Revelio. Handy resource indeed. That's right. There was a stuffed guide. chest in here. Please be I forgot all about this one. I think it was one of the first stealth chests we discovered. Rebellion. Yeah, there's like whole sections up there that we're somehow missing. Uh, we can see Professor Fig to continue the main story. Which will probably take us outside again. Or allow us to at least have combat. So we can finish our assignments. But I do kind of want to wrap up any loose ends. Where could this one be? Revelio. I reveal the cat. Okay, I don't hear it here, but I heard it pretty loud, like right here. No. Oh, I don't hear it at all anymore. Where was I when I heard it? Maybe I'm just hearing ghost chimes now. I think we're like right Rebellion. here. Rebellion. All right, disregard everything I just said. Apparently there isn't one around here. That'll take us to the Undercroft. Which we don't have any reason to go there right now. It's a big chest, but how do we get into there? Revelio. That's right, we haven't really done much in this room. Pungent Passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbulus Mimbulatonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Revelio. Yeah, I know we've kind of been through here, but we didn't do much here. That sounds like another one really Often close. Oh, uh, it might be above us. Either that or it's right here, but it doesn't seem to be. No, it's got to be above us up there. It's another one of these. Is that just rubbish? I wonder. Oh, apparently. Oh yeah, we can't use this stuff anywhere other than the rumor requirement. What happens if we burn the rubbish? Incendio. Confringo. Ah, Confringo took care of it. Oh, now we're back up. outside. Uh, we should be able to fly. Haven't done this in a little, little bit. Can we land anywhere over here? Oh, wrong button. Oh no, I can't remember how to descend. Uh, that's up. Ah, why do I have B is down? Probably because I have buttons tied to other stuff. Oh no, B is land. 
Alright, let me look at my key bindings real quick. Alright, I'm a big dumb. F is fly down. But yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually get there from here. So there's gotta be a hallway or something that leads into that. Yeah. Revelio. Oops, wrong button. So this takes us, that's like the beast class, which we also haven't been to. So yeah, this door doesn't lead us where we need to go. Good job throwing away your rubbish. Going to harvest some knot grass from the greenhouse today. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get up there yet. Or at least not from here. Well, actually, maybe somehow up from here. No, nope, that's all a big negative. Well, still haven't found Arthur. Guess we'll go to the Transfiguration Courtyard and talk to Nelly. At least I believe that was Nelly. And Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Not yet, Duncan. This place is big, and to find a hidden room would be even harder. Revelio. Probably something in that locked door. Well, I know there's something in there. But I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But that's probably what the Revelio page was Were for. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? I was, Nelly. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. Probably. I should see this through and find the Ravenclaw house chest. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. So that's that house chest we discovered. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, that we discovered way back at the beginning. Question is, how do I get back there? Uh maybe Arthur's hanging out somewhere over here. Probably not. Transfiguration. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Can't remember who that was. Rebellion. Wait, a, oh, it's behind a locked door. It looks like. I say, I know how to solve that puzzle. Okay, now we just gotta figure out how to get back to the barracks. Oh, here's some chess. I don't think we've explored too far this way. Or we probably have, and I just didn't realize it. Revelio. Actually, I think this will lead us back towards the staircase area. Which is kind of the direction we're aiming for.
Oh yeah, there's definitely a Revelio page around here. Oh yeah, this was where when we I'd left. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. When we left our dorms, that was how we fast Rebellion. traveled to the central hall. And we haven't actually returned to our dorms, I don't think. Okay, there's definitely a Rebellio page up here somewhere. There it is. Ravenclaw door knocker. To gain entrance to the Ravenclaw common room, one must solve a rather esoteric riddle using logic and reasoning posed by the Eagle door knocker. Revelio. All right. So our house chest should be around here. There it is. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh, quite wow. a few by the look of it. Yeah, certainly quite a few. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Revelio. Oh, and I think I figured this out. That probably goes to the women's dorms. This is the men's. Probably why I'm not allowed that way. Is that a Zenobia gobstone? No. It's a level 2 lock chest. Revelio. I think we checked out up here at the very beginning. Found it was. Yep, it's also locked. Yeah, I don't think there's too much more up here to find. Unless we run into Arthur. I think these were bathrooms? No. Once again, it's a lock that shows yellow. I know we don't have the combo for it, but it's just curious. Yeah, that's the women's area. This is the men's. Revelio. I don't think there's anything over here. Apparently down below there are some chests. Oh, this is when I said it's not nice to go through other people's stuff. Which it's not, but I've gone full villain arc on here. Revelio. Nothing in here. They all appear to be on the other side of these walls. That's another lock that shows up yellow. I prefer it when they show up blue, so that way easier to identify. Not like some kind of sack of galleons or something. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yep, nothing more to do in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our stuff. Also try to see where to go for our next quest. Inventory. Letter from Professor Shaw's sister. And then this was probably the... This is probably the house crest. Which we don't have in our inventory anymore. A couple of Rebellio pages to highlight, more than likely. Yeah. There's still that many to go, just in Hogwarts alone.
Oh yeah, we wanted to look at our quests. That's right. So fig battles. We have to find 15 more Dedalian keys. Luckily, if we could find the lock, the key should be nearby. At least so far, that's proven true. This involves going to Keenbridge, which is outside Hogwarts. Let's see if this shows up on the map. The Hidden Herbology Corridor. Uh, for some reason, it highlighted me over to there. What's this? Oh! It's like super hidden. Ah, oh, we can't quite exit like that. Yeah, it's like way out there. Apparently if we go to the divination classroom, we can find the rest of Zenobia's gobstones. Since the duplicates didn't seem to count. And I don't want to cheat and flu flame travel. So we'll walk there. Maybe we'll find Arthur on the way. I also don't actually know where the divination classroom is. Yeah, there's still a lot of spots we haven't even been. Oh, bright light. Revelio. Okay, so this is the main staircase. Or the central hall staircase. Actually, I just talked about how there's probably a Daedalus key near the lock. So maybe over this way? Nothing immediately highlighted. So I could have been mistaken in that Rebellion. guess. There is a Revelio page around here, I think. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. And it looks like I found a divination classroom. And a gobstone. Let's switch to Akio. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio! It also sounds like there's a. Oh, maybe not a Rebellio page. Yeah, now it sounds way distant. It might have been for the Gobstone. That might not just be a Rebellio page sound, I'm starting to think. But I don't know what else it could signify. Ah! Let me sneak up to this chest. Hello, fellow students. Revelio. There's I a map. I better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, if I would have come here a long time ago, I could have discovered the code for myself. Luckily, I kind of guessed my way into it. It looks like this kind of tells me how to solve it. So this technically could have, should have been the first door, maybe. So two plus Hydra, Hydra being three. We need a four, which is Owl on a Broomstick. There we go. And then a three, which is a Hydra. Excellent. Revelio. Got a book stand. The Arithmancy Classroom. 
This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology, though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves whilst nodding off at their desks. So you have to be able to solve the puzzle before you can even come to class. That's kind of odd. Then again, Hogwarts is kind of odd. There's two of the doors in the classroom. So six plus five is 11. We need the six, which is the gecko or a basilisk or whatever it's supposed to be. And then that's the number for seven. So we need a one, which is a unicorn. Unidentified hand item. And wizard mannequins. Revelio. Uh, before we start looting out of control, have we looked to see how much gear space we have? Ah, oh, we got plenty. Let's go ahead and highlight these. Highlight anything else that could be the Arithmancy Study Guide page. Excellent. Let's look at our new collections. Or conjurations, rather. Book stand. A stand for holding books. Wizard mannequins. A variety of wizard mannequins that showcase different robe styles. Then our most recent Rebellio page. There we go. Should be all of them. Yep. So crab plus gecko. That would be five plus six is 11. We need a four, which would be Owl on a broomstick. And then we got walrus, which is a zero plus our team. We need a five, which is crab. All right. Uh, blank square frame. But what's up with that desk? Highlight as if I could do something. Right? Lumos. Nope. Repair. Oh, it's because I have the disillusionment thing highlighted. Now I can't use that here. And it only highlights. When I have one of those equipped. I don't know what's going on with that. It's definitely a conjuration thing, but I can only use it. Oh, because I have that equipped, everything is going to glow. That I could technically conjure at some point. So it might be good just not to have those on my toolbar because that could get distracting fast. Rebellion. Well, the other. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm guessing the other gobstone isn't in div divination, or at least this area. Is that dead ends? Oops, sorry. Was there another path? Oh, we could continue up the stairs. What are you up to now? Rebellio. Oh boy. Up oh, there's the gobstone. It's Akio there. Akio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Zenobia, good news. I finally found the last of your gobstones. But now I'm curious on what else we can explore while we're here. Revelio. 
palmistry model. This standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending on the angle at which the model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Yeah, that kind of makes me think the whole thing is fake. Up oh, 49 galleons. As I was say, what did we get from the chest? Revelio. Ooh, another note. Mudawa Onai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as Deputy Headmistress to offer you the position of divination or divination. Professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. So that was to Natty's mom, because she's a divination teacher. For once it doesn't oh there she is. Never mind, I'm about to say for once it doesn't look like the professor's hanging out in the classroom. Your daughter is lovely, by the way. Alright. So now we gotta make our way to the bell tower area. Off on another adventure, are we? Which, if I recall, Rebellio. I am not hearing a Rebellio page at all anymore. Oh yeah, we were looking for the stupid Daedalus key, so it wasn't up there. Yeah, maybe I was. Comp oh, maybe it's over here. It is. Okay, so they are nearby. My Revelio just doesn't spot them quite so easily. Let's give it a smack. And... Oh, it didn't go the way I thought it would. Oh, that time it... Did go, but I was too slow. So maybe it will eventually cross over. I just have to be fast with the timing. Another house token. Now we can actually read that. And I totally just used a potion on accident. I knew that was gonna bound to happen eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and highlight stuff. Spectacles, don't care. Actually, we are down to only six slots. It might not be great. House token. A token specific to each house. And that wasn't worth using a potion for. Another conjuration. I don't remember unlocking one of those. Oh, the blank square frame. I guess we did. An empty square frame. And we did do a couple more value pages, or at least one, for the palmistry model. Yep. All right. We're still not quite level 22 yet. Feels like we've been almost level 22 for a while. So I think what we want to do next is head to Dark Arts Classroom and then across the bridge to Hecate's, or not Hecate's, uh, the Tower of Hedonia. I don't know what it's actually called. I never actually look, it feels like. Revelio. OK, 
Okay, that Rebellio page is probably behind the locked door. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I have. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstone. I have. Oh no, I have to I go up there. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstone. You quit distracting me for a moment. How nice to see you, my young friend. Did it? It is hanging out here. All right. Oh, I jumped the gun on that one, and then I was too late. Nailed it. All right, got Zenobia. I know you've been waiting patiently forever. You've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, I think I'll keep them. Nah, you can have them. I don't want them. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Ah, uh, it's probably a terrible idea, but I'll be nice and say it's a wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Good luck, Zenobia. Sorry it took so long. Oh, that looked like a wand. An orbicular or something or another. And we hit level 22. So we got some stuff to do. Let's take a look at that wand handle. There it is. The orbicular violet. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we could try that out for a while. And then talents. Core. Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemies' shields. We'll take that. And Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. We'll take that. We still haven't tested this Wigan Weld thing yet. I'm going to assume I need both levels of it. So I'll go ahead and take that. This other stuff doesn't seem that important. But at the same time, we don't have too many other things unlocked. Cursed Sapper. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Well, that could also be nifty, since we can curse them with Stupefy. Sure, I think we'll focus Dark Arts once I can learn how to unlock these. Oh, like Avocadavra Mastery. Killing an enemy with Avocadavra kills all cursed enemies. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, Dark Arts sounds like it'd be fun. But for now, we don't have access to too many of those. Something we'll have to learn. Have fun, Zenobia! See you in class. Oh yeah. We wanted to go to the Tower of Hakat. Or not Hakat. It's Professor Hakat. The Tower of Hedonia. Which I believe... If we come up this way... Hang a right... And then a Yui. Should be this doorway. Hall of Herodiana. Herodiana. Ah, I won't remember. And then from here, I think it was this door. And then down this way. Revelio. We 
still don't know what to do with this one. <laughs> you okay, great lady? Good for you. Incendio. Actually, that looks like a button you can kind of push. Like maybe one of these. Compulsor. Found it. Gray lady, are you okay? Where'd you go? Okay, we are gonna have to sell our stuff off soon. Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. Oh, is this like a picture storage place? Yeah, it is. But how did a picture leave a note? Revelio. Well, that's kind of confusing. Let's go ahead and Lumos this. Lumos. So that's a picture of a bathroom. So the hall we just came through. Should have a moth around here. There you are. Look at your hair, your complexion. Whatever it is, they'll all want to know your secrets. I actually think I am facing forward, maybe. Yeah, they might have fixed the mirror reflections. Not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to tell in this setup, this uh, outfit. We're actually almost all the way done with this collection. Uh, but now I'm trying to remember where to go from here. Was it this bridge? And it was this bridge. Excellent. So, locked door, locked door. We need some kind of Stop time magic, I think. Because right about now, that door should be starting to open. And if we can stop it when it's at the spot where it starts to open, maybe it'll open all the way. Because that's something to do with this pendulum. Like right about there. Oh no, right at the end there. Rebellion. And I think that'll lead us to just a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, as far as I can tell, we don't have the right tools. I also can barely reach up that, that high. Maybe once it gets up there, we can try pushing it. Nah. Yeah, like that has something to do with it. Okay, so the hidden herbology chamber should be somewhere right through there. Actually, let's just use our broom. At least I think I'm in the right spot. Maybe it was in a different spot than what I was thinking. Okay, let's go back into the courtyard here and open up our map.
Oh. No, I am on completely the wrong side. It was somewhere over here. But you know what? Instead of walking all the way through, let's go ahead and fly there. So, it should be around this building. Yep, this was the, the plaza. So it should be around here. Rebellion. Oh, there's definitely a page nearby. If this door opens, I think it'll be in here. Affirmative. Castle Ramparts. Along with powerful protective enchantments, these defensive ramparts have safeguarded Hogwarts Castle for centuries. The ancient rooms and corridors along the ramparts might be worth exploring, as they harbor mysteries of their own. Rebellion. There are several doors. Oh, there's an Accio page over there. Let me down. Uh. Oh, we already had Akio. Akio. What's up, little guy? Revelio. Yeah, this has got to be the botany hidden area that Duncan was talking about. There's another Rebellio page close. Glum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a triacle, which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. Yeah, it'd be bad if you're eating honey and get tired. Revelio. So maybe that has something to do with the secret path? Seems about right. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. What dry vines? Oh, those ones. And this is actually probably what I need the arithmancy for. Or astronomy. Or divination. Any number of classrooms. Oh, it's a bee. Where'd it go? There he is. Hi, little bee. Incendium. That's the hidden path. Hidden or bodgy corridor. Duncan, if you get us killed, I swear. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Revelio. Oh. Let's go ahead and light that. Good for you. I think this would be the exit. Yep. Rebellion. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. I don't believe it does. Which is why we're going to throw fire at it. Confringo. That eh, affected it a little bit. Expelliarmus. I meant to do this. Lumos. 
I think would hate Lumos more. Probably walk safely through there. Revelio. So there's a puzzle. Chest. Oh, this looks like more of a snare. Probably come through here. And then leap across. Oh, let's use some light real quick. Good for you. Oh yeah. Torches definitely serve a purpose then. Revelio. Ah, uh, we really need to sell off our stuff. Confringo. Lumos. Should be safe to drop down. Uh, I think a double snare reached out and grabbed me. So my torch slightly went away. Luckily we're not in combat. So it should be fine. Let's go ahead and light this up. Good for you. Revelio. Uh would appear there's stuff we could do here. Incendio. Like that. Oh no, let's get Lumos going. Lumos. Seem to be creeping up on me. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Let's go ahead and light things up. Confringo! Lumos. Oh, we have to swim, that's why. Okay. I said, shouldn't Lumos have done it? Fringed forest lock scarf. Revelio. Ah, oh, that's another torch we could have lit. Good for you. Revelio. Just kind of looking for anything else. Expelliarmus. Not what I meant to do. I meant to... Lumos. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Uh, those are dangerous though, buddy. Get close enough for those to go away and then light this on fire. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. And then do the same thing. Confringo. Expel the armors. Oh. Lumos. Didn't scroll quite fast enough. Repairo. Confringo. Lumos. Revelio. Ah, uh, giant venomous tentacular leaf. Go ahead and collect that. Looks like there's more over this Lumos. way. So we can explore beyond the bounds of the mission. Oh. Yeah, that stuff definitely doesn't feel good to walk on. Oh, we can exit into the greenhouses. Oh, this probably leads to those locked doors, the other side of it, though. Or not. Apparently it was just a trap door that we couldn't access before. Or maybe it was. Yeah, this is all new. Revelio. Yep, this was one of the locked doors. An unidentified legendary piece. 
That'll be nice. So this door... Oh, yep, yeah, this is one of them, and then that other one should be this one right here. Yep, they were the ones that didn't have level requirements Rebellion. on them. Excellent. That's one thing solved. And an unidentified legendary neck item. Wow. I think we want to go to the room of requirements. Let's stop in on Professor Garlic, see how she's doing. Hi, Professor. Uh, Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. That's awful. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad things worked out as they did. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Take care, Professor. See you later. Particularly when I complete your assignment and have to go to another class. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. All right, let's go find Duncan. I believe he's near... Oh, where is Duncan, actually? I think he's at the bottom of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. We still have a couple doors over there that aren't 100% sure where they lead. This should be good enough now for Duncan. Yep. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Happy to help. Take it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Duncan for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. I hope you do, Duncan. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Alright, let's go up to the rumor requirement. And... 
identify some of these legendary items. Also probably collect some random stuff that's up there. Still no Arthur. Wonder what happened to him. Usually they wait right where they gave me the quest at. He did have a treasure map of his own, so maybe he went to go find it. And maybe he's stuck somewhere, but without it, I won't know where to find him. Or a quest marker at the very least. Okay, after this, probably going to want to start selling off some of her gear. Might be one of the times I use flu flame travel. Just to speed that along a little bit. Uh, make a wig and weld. Why not? I'll be here for a few minutes. No, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to click on Maxima, Edris, and Thunderbrew. Alright, this is gonna be ready. And Wiganwell. I don't know if there's a max to the number we can have. Whoops. Let's identify our gear. All upgrades. Excellent. Collect our Moonstone. And let's go through all of our inventory and stuff. Oh, come on. I know gloves were one of the ones as I saw it pop up. So, increase damage by all plants. Herbology one trait. Even without that, there's still an upgrade, so... We'll definitely put those on. Face wear. No, nope, these are all downgrades. Headwear. Cloaks and robes. Scarf. Decreased damage taken from trolls. Cushioning. Alright. It's a good offense boost regardless. And the luck isn't too bad, but I think I like Oh, we'll keep that on. Looks good enough. And then cloaks and robes. Ancient magic focus one. Increased ancient magic meter fill rate. It's more offense regardless. We'll have to change back to our knight's armor. Spider Slayer armor. And then I don't think there's anything there. Nope. Alright. And then collections. Wand handles. An impressive ringed handle design in violet. The orbicular. Appearance. I think this was our reward from Duncan. The Venomous Tentacula Robe. A robe in shades of leafy green earned by obtaining a venomous tentacula leaf from the hidden herbology corridor. And then, I guess a Revelio page. A couple of them. Excellent. Inventory. Oh, a key item that we no longer have, and then a note from Violet. Alright, I think it's off to Hogsmeade to sell off some of this gear. We are at one away from full. Yeah, we definitely need to take care of that. Probably end up fast traveling there. 